Item number, SCP-481. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-481 is currently contained in Sector 25, in a specially designed dormitory for the affected subjects. The dormitory is built to modify D-Class specifications, with space for two occupants at this point, based on the spread of the scar tissue. Besides the standard sleeping quarters, there is a living space for each accessible through an outer isolation room. Subjects are allowed written and recorded entertainment that is available from local sources and does not violate containment procedures. No excessive funds are to be spent on this. Subjects are allowed visits to the outer facility and external walled gardens for no more than three hours per day, supervised by two level two security personnel. Cameras are installed in the dormitories and are to be monitored by one level two security personnel at all times. Subjects should not be prevented from self-harm, except for in cases of corresponding large-scale violence and full body restraints are authorized in this case under the supervision of a trained medical team. Description SCP-481 was originally a clustered pattern of scars, roughly corresponding to a variably partial map of location expunged, India, appearing on SCP-481-1, formerly Mrs. since at least 1990. SCP-481 has since spread to SCP-481-2, formerly a Foundation agent. When SCP-481 first manifested on SCP-481-1, it appeared as a small series of crisscrossing scars that has been found to correspond to the neighborhood of location expunged. While it is still not readily apparent why this town is being mapped, the sympathetic effects of the scars in city are readily apparent. The scars are a perfect recreation of the town. Streets and alleys appear as straight scars resembling lacerations made with a dull cutting instrument. Buildings are represented by scar nodes. A small canal flowing through the town is represented as a jagged scar across the abdomen of SCP-4811. The growth of new scars corresponds to the expansion of the already overcrowded town and city, including slums set up on unofficial roads. Described as very painful by both SCP-4811 and 2, the effect is not limited to growth. Any demolition leads to a severely painful scouring of the corresponding scar patterns. Scars currently cover 100% of the skin, including the scalp, of SCP-4811 and approximately 47% of the skin of SCP-4812, from the shoulders to the lower torso, including both arms. SCP-4811 has shown tendencies to self-harm since her incarceration. Any scars left by this faded completely within 20 days, and did not correspond to changes in the city architecture. It was therefore believed that the self-inflicted scars were merely an expression of SCP-4811's frustration with her containment. This has since been proven inaccurate by Incident 48111. Addendum 481-1 When SCP-481-1 ran out of skin for the scars to expand to, it was believed that the expansion events were over. Within a week, scars began appearing on SCP-481-2. He was immediately quarantined along with SCP-481-1 and has since been under observation. SCP-481-2 had a history of dealings with the data expunged before coming to the Foundation just as SCP-4811 did. Whether this connection is the key to SCP-4812 becoming the new focus for the scars is currently under investigation. Incident 48111 On date expunged, SCP-4811 attempted suicide via an improvised plastic blade drawn across the wrists. At the same time, the now infamous riots in location expunged, India, had reached the peak of their violence. SCP-4811 was immediately attended to and stabilized, while the riots lasted for several days. The source of the riots was later traced to two neighborhoods, corresponding with the parts of the scar pattern covering SCP-4811's wrists. Addendum 481-2 Further investigation led to similar ongoing reports of violence and petty crime from neighborhoods mapped out on the portions of the body associated with repeated self-harm. 
Tests were performed to determine whether damage to the scar pattern caused corresponding violence and surgeons made several incisions to parts of the scars corresponding with business district. No effect was noted. It is hypothesized that the self-inflicted damage is a compulsory response to violence and other crime in the city. Self-harm appears to be inflicted on parts of the body associated with high-crime neighborhoods. On date expunged, after SCP-4812 attempted to remove a portion of his upper arm during a string of murders in the corresponding neighborhood, current procedures involving full-body restraints were adopted. SCP-481 Test Log Research Personnel Dr. Research Assistant Hayden Mobile Task Force 481 MTF 481 D5999 Recruited Locally These tests take place between 1103-2000 and 1107-2000 MTF 481 Rabble Rousers Specifically assembled for these tests based on skills in causing public unrest Traveled to location expunged, India to better understand what SCP-4811 is reacting to when she self-harms. A total of five escalating tests are scheduled. SCP-4811 is to be observed via CC to gauge her response. Test 1 Preconditions None Action An elaborate and carefully choreographed fight was staged between twelve locally hired stuntmen. Test Result SCP-4811 did not deviate in any way from her normal routine. Notes As suspected, mere overtures of violence are not sufficient to trigger a response. Dr. Test 2 Preconditions None Action Actual fights were instigated between researchers and locals in a very close area, leading to violence among at least 23 people. While there were no fatalities, several locals were injured due to their lack of formal training in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Test Result SCP-4811 began to scratch vigorously at her lower back, in the area of scars corresponding to the location of the fight, drawing a small amount of blood. Notes Okay, I see no reason to instigate a full-scale riot. I think we get the picture. Dr. Test 3 Preconditions SCP-4811 was fully restrained to determine what effect denying her compulsions had. Action After arming a small group of local malcontents, MTF-481 obtained permission from the local authorities to deal with them. MTF-481 made quick work of the poorly trained force. Test Result SCP-4811 became visibly uncomfortable and demanded several times to be allowed out of her restraints. Blood pressure was recorded as elevated, and EEGs showed a sharp increase in the amount of electrical activity in the brain. Notes: Is it the stress causing those reactions, or the violence? Dr. Test 4 Preconditions SCP-4811 was fully restrained to determine what effect denying her compulsions had. Action Mobile researcher proceeded to torture D-5999 with various implements, finishing with him after three hours. Test Result SCP-4811 shook violently for the entire three hours, before appearing to have a tonic-clonic seizure, followed by a cessation of her vitals. She was successfully revived. Notes Very interesting. Her blood pressure was way up. Her heart was arrhythmic, and her brain's electrical activity was still spiking after that. It appears that the scale of the violence is not so important as, to some degree, the brutality. Still, until we better understand what's so damn important about this city, we're not going to lose our only clue to heart failure. Testing is suspended. Dr. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, Go watch SCP-480, Recurring Nightmare Field, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.